Hello everyone. Today's topic of discussion is aerobic exercise. The discussion is for the second year bachelor of physiotherapy students for Saurashtra University. We will be discussing about the components of exercise program. The aerobic exercise program has three components. First is warm up, second is actual aerobic exercise and at last there will be a cool down phase. The first phase of aerobic exercise program is warm up period. It actually means the body is warmed up during the initial set of low intensity exercise to prepare the body for the actual aerobic exercise. So the expected expected physiological responses are increase in the muscle temperature, the muscles which are contracting. Second is to increase the need of oxygen to the working muscles. Third, the warm up period will dilate the constricted capillaries of the working muscles. And fourth, to improve the venous return to the heart. The warm up period should be gradual and sufficient to increase the local muscle temperature and the core body temperature without causing any fatigue or reducing any energy stores. The characteristics include a, a 10 minute period of total body movements such as calisthenics and walking slowly and such movement might be able to increase a body temperature to a slightly higher level and prepare the body for the exercise. The warm up period will also improve the heart rate within around 20 beats per minute of the target heart rate. The second phase of aerobic exercise that is the main conditioning part can be performed in four ways. One of the four ways, one is continuous mode, second is interval mode, mode, third is circuit training and fourth is circuit interval training. The continuous training is the simplest mode of exercise training where a person performs some exercise at some maximum intensity and the exercise is continued for certain duration. Average duration of such exercise is 20 to 60 minutes and as the duration increases progressively the workload is also increased when the patient's or person's capacity improves. We have to follow the principle of overload while performing this type of exercise and uh, overload can be implied upon by increasing the duration of exercise in this type of training. The interval training means some duration of exercise is followed by some duration of relief. The relief may be of two types, passive relief and active relief. So, so say for example interval training with passive relief, the person does active exercise like jogging for 5 minutes and sits down, takes complete rest for 1 minute, again performs 5 minutes jogging and 1 minute rest. This is passive relief interval training. In contrast to passive relief, the active relief interval training can also be utilized. In active relief, the person performs a low, int low intensity aerobic exercise in the relief time. So here, say for example, the person does jogging at moderate speed 
in the exercise time and in the interval relief time the person performs slow walking so 5 minutes jogging 1 minute slow walking again 5 minutes jogging 1 minute slow walking so this is an example of interval training research has found that active relief interval training is better than the passive relief interval the third type is circuit training in circuit training the person undergoes a group of exercise sets in a circuit so one type of exercise followed by second type of exercise at the second stage at the second station followed by another third type of exercise at the third station followed by next type at next station and the number of stations may vary from one to many and the person completes a complete cycle of this circuit so this type of training is known as circuit training one can include more than one exercise modes so not only aerobic but it can also include weight training or multiple aerobic trainings which includes different types of muscle groups can also be part of circuit training the fourth type is circuit interval training now this is somewhat similar to interval training but here instead of one single continuous exercise there is a circuit type of training in which there is a relief period so in circuit inter circuit interval the person undergoes multiple circuits where certain stations are having a low intensity work relief intervals so this is a modification of circuit training which we now can utilize as circuit interval training so initially warm up period followed by active exercise period and at last it is followed by cool down period the cool down period is around 5 to 10 minutes where again the person performs some low intensity exercise and some stretching exercise the duration is about 5 to 10 minutes the purpose of cool down is actually cooling down the body temperature where the temperature is ri raised during the actual aerobic exercise duration the cool down ex period exercises performed after the actual aerobic exercise they prevent pooling of the blood into the extremities that is so during the aerobic exercise the blood circulation in the peripheral circulatory system is much more the same exercise performed by the muscle is also helping the blood to be pumped to the heart back so venous return is very good during the active exercise performance and this return pumping is performed by the larger muscle groups like calf muscles so when the active exercise are stopped suddenly the pumping backward pumping of blood will be stopped and the blood will be more accumulated in the periphery and the reduced venous return may lead to circulatory compromise to the brain so cool down period actually prevents this pooling of blood into the extremities so because of prevention of pooling the person is also prevented from fainting after actual aerobic exercise the cool down activities will improve the recovery of the body and the energy systems and the cool down may also prevent myocardial ischemia or arrhythmia or other cardiovascular complications which may occur the person is prone to develop such complications so we have learned about the components of aerobic exercise program that is warm up 
एरोबिक एक्सरसाइज एंड कूल डाउन